Alright guys, we're looking at bowling moments again from K-Bowl. This time it's on lane 15. This one here, you know, you'll see spares, strikes, pins flying out. Um, let's do this. Get right into it here. Of course, a lot of you guys know K-Bowl is no longer in business anymore. And it may flash in and out because the camera, the tape is bad or something. See how that pin's sticking up in the curtain there? See how that pin's sticking up in there? Well, that's because that curtain was messed up. So, as you can see, I do have the washout. The one, three, and the seven. It is a makeable spare, but very difficult. So, and there you, you can see I uh, did completely whiff on that. <laughs> As you can see, that machine is slow. And again, I apologize for the tape being weird. Bad spots in the tape that I uh, filmed on. <laughs> There goes one pin shooting out. And this is really the only time I've had pins actually come flying out. And that was, I believe, the four pin that came flying out. There's a good solid, solid strike going Brooklyn. See the pin just spinning around on the deck. And this is what I always dealt with every time I got a strike or a low pin count at cable. Almost having another dead wood there. This time we leave the one and the three. Good shot, not to have no bounce out on that one. We're doing a few shots here. I mean, and again, it blanks out for a quick second there. Coming right through the nose of the pins on that one, leaving the what they call the railroad split, which is the four six. And uh, as you can see, I picked it off again. And there again, you see the tape black out on me there for a minute. Five pin will stand on that one going Brooklyn. totally missing that so there I was I believe using my spare ball and it just did not move back over to the right far enough so it just basically stayed where it was at and went straight down went straight down the lane totally missing the five pin there there's a strike to make up for that
All right, this time we, I don't know what I left there. I know the one, two is there. I'm not for sure if the five pin is behind the head pin on that shot there, so. Here you'll see more spares and strikes. Like I said, this time it's on lane 15. Uh-oh. Yep, five pin was there, so another up and frame on that one. Spares, strikes, and opens, and pins flying out at me. Coming through the nose of the pins once again, this time leaving the 4, 6, and the 7. The last time I bowled, the first time I bowled and not on that lane, not knowing that the curtain was all out of whack and all that stuff, but when I did that, I ended up shooting a 237 on that lane when that curtain was all messed up before I started doing bowling videos. I have shot 200, broke 200 numerous times at K-Bowl, so... And again, it's all because of the tape problem. See, and again, a pen gets stuck in the curtain. And this is exactly what I was talking about as to why, seeing the curtains all screwed up so that the pins were getting hung up in there. Okay, here we are taking a re-rack, so it skipped out. I paused the camera for a sec because I did have a phone call at the time. And these videos, I think I shot this one back in 2009, I think. And then pretty soon you'll see uh, lanes 13 and 14 go on and off and they'll both come on. So, and over in the far left hand corner of the screen you'll see uh, lane 12 is running as well. <clears throat> oh, about fell on that. Here's the 710 split. I did actually stick at the foul line on that shot, so... And again, totally missing the uh, head pin. I don't know why the camera went out of focus there for a second. But it did, but I did go away from the head pin, totally missing it, leaving the picket fence. One, three, six, seven, uh, one, three, six, ten, excuse me. And again. And another pin gets stuck in the curtain. And every time I got a low pin count or a strike, the machine always hung up because they, over at Cable, they did not run the full set of 20 pins on these pin setters. Uh-oh. Totally tugging that. I'm not sure what happened. Oh, I know why I did that. Because I was trying to knock that pin out of the curtain, so. And it did fall. Good uh, spare conversion after taking out the one, the far corner three pins there.
Almost got the back door strike that time. Um, this time we got the one and the two standing. <clears throat> Picked it off. Again, this video is going to be loaded with pins flying out at you, open frames, strikes, and spares. There's a strike. Coming in high over on the Brooklyn side, taking out the four and the seven. And again, I don't know what's going on with the tape, but, uh, I certainly can't do anything about that anymore. They do not make these high eight uh, tapes that this camcorder comes with, so that I used to film with at the time. Okay, this time we got a three pin standing. And I certainly hope you guys enjoyed this. My camera battery is about dead. <laughs> Get one or two more shots in on this. The battery light just came on, so I think I should be good for a little bit. Five pen. Oops. Totally whiffing it. There you go, we got some I certainly hope you guys enjoyed this video guys. Like I said, leave a comment down below. I didn't I didn't state this in at the beginning. Leave a comment down below, leave a like, give a comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Uh, also, do not forget to turn on the push bell notification icon so you guys don't miss out on any video that I post, including live streams. Um, there was a sloppy strike for you to end this uh, video. Alrighty, guys, thanks for watching. And haters, do not view and leave this video alone, please. Otherwise, if you got, like I said, if you guys enjoyed this video, comment down below. Subscribe. And also, after you leave a comment, leave a like if you really enjoyed these bowling moment videos. Um, also, take a moment to also escort your arrow to the subscribe button and the post bell notification icon. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.